thank you all again for coming out today. We're really excited to have you here. And uh, to kick it off, uh, I am Kyle Paul. I am the North America Regional Lead for Developer Ecosystems here uh, at Google. And basically what that means is uh, I, my, myself and my team, we look after the programs and initiatives like this event here today uh, in North America. And um, part of what we do is to look to give developers what they are looking for, what they need. And one of those things that come about are these buzzwords that we hear, like machine learning, artificial intelligence. You know, what do these really mean? I mean, all of you in here are experts on this, right? So, uh, so that the event today is not designed for a hello world machine learning. This is, you know, all of you are experts, industry professionals that are working in this uh, already, and that's what this event is designed for. So. Our goal for today, uh, goals rather, is uh, to inform you on what's happening others, uh, in the industry, educate you on uh, other ways that you might not have experienced yet with machine learning or artificial intelligence, inspire you to create, to build new things with machine learning and artificial intelligence, as well as to co uh, connect and network with each other. I mean, I'm sure many of you here have never met the person you're sitting next to, and you're very excited. Oh, some of you, I <laughs> saw some nods like, yeah, we know, I know her. Uh, <laughs> very cool. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, you know, allowing, you know, giving you this opportunity to network and, you know, meet others in other industries, other verticals. So that's, that's another goal for our event here today. But we really want to help you learn more about machine learning here today. How is Google using machine learning? How are we trying to help developers get more into machine learning and artificial intelligence? And then how can we use this machine learning and artificial intelligence to help around the world in different applications, uh, ways, shapes, and forms? We have a really exciting lineup of speakers today that their diverse knowledge set, diverse backgrounds and industries that they're coming from. And so we're really excited for that today and hoping this event is very insightful and useful to everybody here today. You know, to, to cover our bases here, we do have a code of conduct. You uh, may have noticed it on your way entering into the building or into the room today. Uh, the link is posted here, but it basically comes down to, you know, um, some basic fundamentals. We're all here to learn. We're all here to enjoy this event. We're here to network. So we should have a mutual uh, respect for one another. And if we don't anticipate any issues. But if you happen to have any issues or concerns, please come to me. I'm more than happy to receive it. Or anybody that you see with a Google badge, we're more than happy to hear and uh, help you with that situation. So um, but yes, uh, please keep that in mind. Cool. And uh, as far as social media, if you're excited or you've, uh, you know, learning something cool at this event, please share it online. Uh, we have the hashtag ML Summit, and if you at Google Devs, that way, uh, keeping it all together, you know, uh, we'd love to follow, retweet, like, all of these things. And another reason, uh, another thing that uh, the developer ecosystems team does is we're in a very unique position. We have, we're not tied to a single product area. We have access to all the different product teams at Google. So we're able to, you know, hear your feedback and bring that directly to the product teams. And uh, uh, what this means is, you know, let us know what works. You know, what do you really like about the products? But then also be very candid. What doesn't work? This really sucks. I wish this worked. Why does this not work? And this goes not just for machine learning. This goes for any Google product. We have access to all these teams. And so let us know this feedback. We have a, a survey form that I'll uh, share the link later. So you can do it in there. Please come to talk to any of us uh, with a Google badge. And we're more than happy to hear this feedback and relay it to the product teams. Um, you know, I heard some conversation earlier at breakfast, like AWS this, AWS that. Yes, we'd love to hear those feedbacks. So like, what can we do better? <laughs> 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 you 
And the reason we, you know, another reason we hold events like this is you, you're all developers on the ground. You know and use this and breathe this every day. So we, we want to hear this feedback for sure. Cool. Uh, we do have some, uh, many of you may not have experienced this yet, but we do have some interesting things uh, made available. Uh, we have a partnership with Coursera with different learning opportunities. So if you want to dive deeper and learn more about how to use machine learning applications on the Google Cloud Platform, we have uh, a couple courses that we've partnered with on using big data and machine learning fundamentals. We also have machine learning with TensorFlow and advanced machine learning with TensorFlow. Uh, so there's lots of fun opportunities. There's many more courses that we have on Coursera. But if you want to, you know, dive in and learn more about how you can use machine learning and artificial intelligence on Google's cl uh, cloud platform. Uh, we have all of this uh, available here, and we also have it available on Quick Labs. So this is a learning platform that Google purchased a couple years ago, and uh, more opportunities to learn. And we might, we, we haven't solidified it yet, but we might have a surprise in store for some free learning opportunities here on Quick Labs as well. And so these are applications on uh, data science. You know, how do you, if you're a data scientist, how to do more of this stuff, not just building uh, ML models, but actually going through data proc and all of this stuff on the GCP platform. And then, you know, in intermediate TensorFlow onto advanced with TensorFlow and, and tools like that that we have on GCP. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, with uh, developer ecosystems, we have uh, many developer programs that we support across North America. Uh, these are a uh, majority of them here. We do have uh, what we call our GDG, the Google Developer Groups Program. Uh, some of you might be familiar with this. It's uh, where we enable developers in their communities to come together and talk about Google technologies. Some of them form around machine learning, some of them form around cloud, Android development, or all Google products. Uh, then we also have our GDE program, the Google Developer Experts. We have a, a booth out back that uh, talks a little bit more about this program, and we invite all of you, if you're interested, to come talk to us more about that. And uh, some exciting news is we have many uh, GDEs uh, speaking here today, so we're excited uh, to have them uh, come speak with us, uh, speak today. Uh, but yeah, so if you're interested in that, we'd love to have a chat with you. I'll talk a little bit more about the program to kind of spice it up a little bit. But uh, we do have these other programs, Launchpad, which is geared towards uh, startups. We have our Women Tech Makers program, which is designed to help and empower and influence women in technology uh, and provide them resources to the women uh, in tech groups. And then our Developer Student Clubs, which is designed for students at universities and helping them have access and resources to Google technologies. So with that, diving into the Google Experts program. So there are experts and thought leaders like all of you who uh, Google has recognized as experts in, the f in their various fields of technology. So we have GDEs in Firebase and Android and machine learning and cloud uh, in general. Um, and they, they all come from various different backgrounds. So some of them are you know, hobbyist developers, some of them are at startups, some of them are at big enterprises, you know, all over the map. So whatever your background is, we'd love to chat with you and, and talk with you more about, you know, how, uh, how we can interest you more into this program. And they, they work on various community projects, but they also contribute to open source libraries. We do have many GDEs who contribute to Google's open source libraries as well. So there's lots of fun opportunities there. And eligibility for this program, obviously, being an expert. <laughs> so uh, part of being the expert, and there is uh, defining what an expert is is difficult because expert expertise is different. And so uh, just sh uh, basically showing that you have, you know, a vetted knowledge in that technology sector, uh, and then. We ask that you have some community experience, that you, know, you do have this knowledge. Are you sharing it? Are you bringing it back to the community? Are you speaking at conferences? Are you blogging about the technology? Are you contributing to open source? These kind of things. So these are things that we also look for. And then you know, the, uh, 
the uh, being able to talk about it. You know, when you're engaging with uh, at attendees or when you're going to a meetup, going to a conference, you know, writing a blog post. Do you have the capable uh, the skill set to clearly and communicate about the technologies? And then some of the perks of being a uh, GDE are you know acknowledgement by Google. We do uh, award a GDE badge that you can display on your social networks and business cards, things like that. Um, and then we do also invite GDEs into a exclusive NDA projects with uh, you know early access programs, things like that. Or the different various product teams will also reach out to the GDEs like, hey, we need you know we're thinking about making this change in XYZ product. What do you think about this? When, as a developer, how do you use this? Is this something that is going to impact globally in a good or bad way? So we do get that early feedback from these GDEs as well. Again, access to the teams, exclusive hangouts, hearing you know what's about to launch. So that way, if they happen, if you happen to be a consultant or something like that, you're aware of some upcoming changes. And then we do provide uh, invites to special events like Google I.O. or Google Cloud Next. So some fun opportunities there. And then obviously access to the global network of professionals. All the GDEs come together uh, at various points throughout the year to network with each other, share ideas, share, share content. It's a really fun time. Uh, I, I definitely encourage you to reach out to the GDEs who will be speaking here today and uh, hear their experiences in it. It's, it's uh, prior to joining Google, I was a GDE. It's a very fun time. <laughs> and some resources. So if you're interested to see a little bit more about the program, we do have our website here, which go, dives in a little bit deeper on you know, everything about the program and uh, some, oh. You took a photo and the screens went blank on us. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, uh, so yeah. So again, there's the link. Uh, if you want to see what other developers are doing online, uh, our GDE Twitter account is very active, and it's sharing global stories of what our GDEs are doing, and a lot of fun and exciting stuff there. Our Medium um, is also a place where, um, let's say, uh, as a GDE, you write. A blog post about a technology, we do repost uh, or allow GDEs to post on our, uh, our, our, our special Google Developers blog on Medium. And uh, so it's extra exposure, extra um, um, validation there. And then we have our LinkedIn uh, as well to join. But I know all of you are probably super anticipated. You know, how do we really get into it? So, Come chat with us. We do have this link here to where you can go ahead and apply. Uh, it is a rather long application form, so don't rush through it. Uh, I will uh, you know, advise you to take your time when you're filling this out. Uh, we do look at everything that you put on the application form to see if you have uh, the expertise, the community experience. Like, so whatever information that you share on there, you know, please make sure you've detailed it and fill it out thoroughly. Uh, we don't want uh, you to get rejected for having any, you know, the, your profile barely filled out on there. So, uh, but if you want to learn more about the program throughout the day, come chat with myself. We have a couple other GDEs in the room, like I mentioned. We'll have somebody at the booth uh, during the breaks and lunch. And uh, but yeah, we'd love to come chat and you know hear about your expertise and you know tell you more about the program. And with that. Well, I wanted to share the agenda with you. Um, we Obviously, I'm up here uh, giving you the welcome and a little intro to our program, but uh, we do have one change to the schedule. It's uh, right after the first break. Uh, the change has not been reflected on the website yet. We'll get that updated, but uh, we're doing a talk on fairness, not static. It's a Fairness in Machine Learning by Yanni. Uh, he'll be here uh, presenting on that. And uh, but you know throughout the day we carefully put together this um, pardon me uh, we carefully put together this schedule of speakers because we wanted to have that advanced content we want but we also wanted that diverse background of content so uh, for example uh, I was talking to somebody earlier and uh, last year was our very first time running this event here at the Cambridge office and somebody was presenting on how they're using machine learning 
in the automotive industry. Some of you who were here last year might remember that talk. Uh, I was speaking to an attendee after that event, and, and they were saying that you know, they're from the healthcare background, and while that uh, subject matter didn't really apply to them, what they were doing in the automotive industry blew his mind. He's like, I can do this in the healthcare industry. This is like totally applicable, applicable to me. And so it was really exciting for him. Uh, so, so I hopefully inspire you uh, in, with one of our talks today. You know, so uh, please let us know about this as well. Uh, and then we have a uh, panel discussion right before the closing. Uh, and we'll have a happy hour at the end of the day for more networking opportunities and stuff like that. And all of our breaks, as well as lunch, will be right where you had breakfast. So you don't have to explore too much. It's all right here, easy for all of you. And then some housekeeping items. Uh, again, the schedule. So uh, it's uh, bit.ly slash uh, MLAI19. So at, if at any time you want to revisit the schedule, we do have it available there. And then we have a running survey feedback form uh, with um, questions for all of our speakers. So it, each, pardon me, at each step of the day, you'll be able to you know, provide your feedback in real time because we'll do a raffle at the end of the day. So this way you have the opportunity throughout the day to fill out the survey, let us know uh, what the event, uh, how, what you like about the event and um, you know, uh, what you didn't like about the event, stuff like that. Those of you who haven't experienced it yet, the restrooms, they're back up the ramp to the right before you go, uh, there's a sign right there. So, so if you need that at any point, that's where they are. We do have volunteers stationed at various points to help guide you if you need those uh, directions again. But you know, certain uh, important pieces there, coffee is still right outside the room. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the swag that we've provided to you today. Uh, some of you probably already opened it and explored it a little bit. Um, it's a fun little phone bot. Um, but yeah, so with that, thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll kick it off to Forrester. So.